Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Spiral Orange, the Cortex Conspiracy. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, it's time to start this level, which is Arctic Cliffs or whatever it's called. I forget now. Best thing for me to do is actually go back to Dragon Castles. Yeah, Arctic Cliffs. Okay, that's cool. Okay, now, I did do a little bit of research on this particular game. And I realized that apparently you can actually do the bonus games more than once. Spyro? Hiya! I'm Coco! The professor has been telling me all about you. It sounds like Cortex has altered the Rip Dogs to make them even stronger. It's a good thing we found you. Good luck! Okay. Okay, so the ice will just... is a little bit slippery, but it's no big deal. Hey, what do you want? You can bash your way through these sheets of ice using your head bash. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. They won't be that important, all things considered. But, they're there. Okay, there's a portal nearby. I should definitely look into that. Probably passed it already. It's right all the way to the left. Like, let me try jumping from here. And then use my second jump- Oh. I need more than that, apparently. Alright. Maybe it's on the lower levels. Okay, snow steps. You need 20 gems for this one. Reach the portal. Flip. Collect ammo. Shoot. Okay, that seems simple enough. You only get, like, one shot? Okay, that's kind of lame. So whenever you get a shot, you literally only get, like, one chance to aim it. Oh my god, so a professor is from the Crash series. And you can only hold, like, one missile at a time. So as you can see, they are getting a little bit harder, these games are. And every time you do them, you can do them up to three times. The third time has, like, the highest difficulty. I don't know if you have to pay the same amount of gems or more, but the rewards are different, too. Like, different cards or a high number of gems. This is a weird game to control, let's be honest. Get out of the way, you. Okay, I gotta time myself just right. Oh, I could've just, like, fired one off and tried to grab that one, but what's the point? Let's see if this hits something. It doesn't. Huh. Okay, hopefully I did not, uh, screw myself here. I don't think I did. I think we should be okay. Yeah, shoot him right in the head and the entire body gets vaporized. That's not a violent way to die at all. The thing I don't like about this game is because you don't really get to see a, a lot of each side of the area. Like, when you flip up, you can barely see what's down. And what if there's any electricity nearby? You're pretty much taking a chance on blind faith. You did it. Okay. And you win 10 gems, which is like half of what you paid to get here in the first place. Okay, you don't have to pay gems each time. Alright, so when you try it again, it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. So, let's try it out. Oh god, they're coming from the other way now. I don't know if they always did that, but barely noticed it the first time. So there is going to be some varying degree of difficulty now. Okay, that was kind of bull. Oh, I could not grab that. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, I'll grab that. Oh, oh no. I got no sparks now. It's just a bunch of eyes. That's not freaky at all. <laughs> like, I just got eyes watching over me. See? That's what I mean. Blind faith. I'm not gonna retry that. So, from what I know, other than, you know, getting, um, more, uh, cards and whatnot, 
there's little incentive for you to do all this. I mean, you can if you want to, but why would ya? Unless you're a massive completionist. I think I can get that gem if I did the upper path. Oh, this is so dangerous. Hopefully I'm not skipping too much. Hey, what's up? Well, hello again, Spyro! Those gems you're carrying must be heavy. Why not spend some here? Uh, let's see. <coughs> Can I get the fairy? Maybe I already have it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll just buy that one. You die now. Yeah, there's like a, a whole path over here right above me. I feel like I'm missing so much. So once I get up, I'm gonna have to go all the way to the left. See what I did miss. Which is probably a lot. Okay, it looks like I'm skipping a uh, portal by going this way. Unless there's another one over here. Oh, it looks like there is one up here. But I have to get up higher. Can you take me higher to a place where blind can see? No, you can't, but try blizzard balls. That sounds so inappropriate. Hit them all! Move! Okay, it's the, uh, breakout game again. <coughs> cool. Okay, they don't ricochet off each other. That's fine. Oh god, these guys got shields. So that shows how good that was. I hit them once and they die! Okay, that time the shield actually did work. You had to hit them from a certain angle to make sure that these enemies don't get ya. Oh, this is way too easy. Alright, let's finish this guy off. <coughs> God, my throat is so tickly! I want 10 gems and Jumble Rip Dock. Alright, this one I'll actually try again. Oh, the ball actually moves faster in this one. So the further you go, the faster the balls move. That can be worded so many different ways, guys, I know. But it looks like the enemies are exactly the same. The only difference is the speed in which the ball moves. Which is fine, you know, that challenge is not too terrible. I've dealt with Arkanoid for the NES and that was nearly impossible for some points. Here, let me get two balls ready right away. Freezing Conga. I'd imagine Blizzard Balls seems like something you would get at Dairy Queen. Like just balls of chocolate with a uh, Blizzard ice cream inside. Okay, this guy's gonna be tricky to hit. Thank you! You win 20 gems this time! Alright, let's try the third level. Oh wow, that's going real fast. But on the plus side, that means you'll probably- Wow. You missed once, you fail? Wow, a little room for error here. Alright, let's try this again. Looks like it'd be my best interest to keep both balls in play. Oh, lost one. Don't lose the other one, that would be so embarrassing I have to do all that again. You win 30 gems and another trading card. Okay, cool. So as you can see, you, you can't do that one again. Hey, what are you doing? Talio, Spyro! Be careful! My officers have reported seeing plenty of rip talks in the area. Don't forget to use your flap ability to avoid pits and hazards by tapping A. Yeah, I know how to use it. Now I just need to find- oh god. Gotta be careful with that. But at least that trap is pretty easy to avoid. 
Especially if you just jump over the blade. The sparks don't need you. Is there a portal below us? Melt the ice! Did I really need to melt all of it? Is it just gonna pop back up? Oh, it looks like there's another portal below us. Alright, I'll go check that out. Oops, I almost missed everything. <laughs> Arctic attack. Okay, looks like I'm in some kind of spaceship now. <laughs> so really, I don't see the point in bothering to do, like, the three minigames. I'll well, do the minigames three times each. The rewards don't really do a lot for you. It's not like all these cards are going to allow you to unlock a secret level. In fact, there's some content that I won't be able to unlock anyway because I don't have a link cable for this game. Like, if you had both games linked together, you could get some other content, but I don't have that. Therefore, we'll have to do without. Might as well just get from point A to point B. Point B being the end of the game, of course. Of course, I will give Crash Purple a chance to see how different it is. Seems how these two games go together. Which I find very interesting. <laughs> and weirdly enough, it was Nintendo that did it. Not Sony, which is weird because that's where they got their start, Crash and Spyro. I mean, they made Sony big under that new Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9. But you know what I mean. Alright, let's continue on here, and basically you just gotta keep shooting. And there's the portal. Okay, we got three portals so far in this stage. We got two more to go. Oh, wow, that gives you ten. That's fantastic. Alright, now we gotta make our way all the way back to go up. Isn't that fun, having to backtrack so much? Oh, wow, what a jerk. And by jerk, I mean non-sentient being of ice. <laughs> Alright, have it your way. At least you would come back. Speed running! Huh. Why did I... Oh, right, I didn't even get the butterfly. Cool. Good to know Sparks reminded me of that. Oh, God, branches. Okay, so if this video gets a little framey around this point, that's because Norn is performing background tasks. I forgot to put it in silent mode. <laughs> Go me. There is a portal nearby, and I passed it. I think it's telling me to go up? I think Sparks is telling me to go a certain direction. If I can get there. Maybe it's up here? Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> I gotta go up. Like up this way. Oh, there it is. No, that's the end of the level. Alright. <coughs> I know better now. <laughs> Should not have tried that. That's not a portal? Okay. No, that's a portal right here. Tread lightly. Oh, just another tank game. Alright. You'd think they would've just added a little bit more variety in their games, but they didn't. Eh, it is what it is. No sense changing the game now, it's been out for like, probably over a decade.
Alright, cool. We're almost done. No, that's a turret! <laughs> that's new! Something that actually shoots back. Imagine getting shot at while you're in a tank. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> so far, it hasn't shot back at me. It's just, oh, uh, do I aim this way or that way? Try aiming where the tank is. <laughs> no wonder I shot your ass right out. Okay, so far so good. The games are not getting any different. Probably deal with another mini game that involves them, uh, you know, destroy their wall and knock them off the pit. Wouldn't be surprised if that's added. <coughs> Still haven't been shot at. Well, I don't give them a chance, and you'd think they would have aimed a little bit faster. The games are not exciting, and they're just long. Oh wow, something that actually is different. Doesn't make the game that much more exciting, though. Like, really, can you just do something that gives me a challenge? Oh my god, this, this definitely feels like a kiddie game. Probably because it is. Okay, now I need to find the star portal. So, can you find it for me? Hopefully you can, that's what I got you for. It's probably on the lower part. How far low? I don't know. Ah, that rhymes. Whoa, that one's worth 25. Holy crap. Well, the games are getting more expensive, so hopefully I get it. Hey, Crash. Crash! Have you found all the crystals yet? These portals are trickier than they look, so try to take it easy. Crash, like, don't tell me what to do, even though I can't talk. I can dance, so. So, beat that. <laughs> Ice Chopper. Freeze the Riptock. Press A fast. B to shoot. Oh, I have to keep, like, pressing B when I'm at this threshold. I did it. Now he's gonna suffer and possibly die. Good job. <laughs> Got a card for Elora. Alright, now I gotta make my way all the way back up. That could take a while. Or not. Oh, that jewel does not respawn. That's unfortunate. It's just the lowly red ones that do. Kinda wish it was like that with Smarties. Can you imagine if the red ones kept respawning, then you have like infinite chocolate? You were thinking, oh, why do you need infinite chocolate? It'll make you fat. No, it just makes you save money. Because then you can just wait for the red chocolate to respawn again, and then you don't have to buy any ever again. To Fire Mountains we go. Uh-oh, not these guys again. And it looks like Crush's new shield might protect him from your flame attack, Spyro. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do, really? Is there anything to do? Um, do I just, like, hit him? Oh, that's not gonna work. Maybe I got, like, a headbutt him. Oh, it did work! Okay, looks like I won. Oh, I guess he just had to hit him again. All 
Alright, try to shoot me over here. Oh yeah, that's what you gotta do. Wow, what a joke this guy is. No, aim here. No, here! Okay, I see what I gotta do. Is him on fire now? Oh no, I see what I gotta do. Bounce it back! Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Just make sure you time it right so it can actually go where he can shoot. Oh, he recovers fast. So I not only gotta hit him, but I gotta do it just right to make sure that I don't get hit back. I think I've won. Barely, though. You said your boys could handle this dragon. Quiet, shorty. Something must have gone wrong. Something definitely did go wrong. And don't call me shorty. Whatever you say, shrimp. You guys are the same size, really. Yeah, enough. We'll do things my way, Nina. Blinky, what's up? Spyro, Crash, Nina has kidnapped the professor and Coco. This can't be good. She has destroyed their research on closing the portals. We have to help our friends. Follow me, Crash. Hey, Spyro. Try using your flap ability to glide. While in the air, press A repeatedly, and you can fly for short distances. And you get 40 gems instantly, as well as a card. Cool. Alright, so in the next episode, we're going to do Fire Mountain. See ya, everyone.